high here too. So we're now at the stage where hopefully you've managed to make two strips of toys for your toy shop. So two kind of strips of uh, drawings that look a bit like this and you've got them colored in. The next part is to cut them out, which is quite tricky because they're kind of small and a little bit fiddly. Um, also, if you're like me, you might have accidentally chopped off one of your glue tabs. If that does happen to you, all you need to do is stick a little bit of paper just behind the toy and it will make a new glue tab. So it's not the end of the world. If you accidentally chop a glue tab off, it just means you've got to do one extra job uh, before you can stick your toys down. So there we go. So my doll has a glue tab again. So uh, here's, here's a shelf that I've made for my toy shop. And now I'm going to glue my toys in. Now, this is my tip for gluing things in so it looks really good. First of all, try not to have all your toys in a perfect row. It will kind of look more dynamic and visual if you kind of have them as kind of staggered. I also wouldn't put them right at the back of the shelf because they'll kind of disappear into the background. So look at the first kind of third of your shelf as the area you want to be gluing down your toys, okay? Another tip is don't put your biggest toys in front of your smaller toys. Try and save the bigger toys for going, say, a little bit further back. So. I'm going to use my train as an example. Okay, so there's my train. And I'm going to stick that a little bit further back from my teddy. Okay, so there's my first two toys on the shelf. Um, now let's see, I'll, maybe I'll do a toy soldier. So every time you're ready to glue, you just fold the little tab that you left underneath your toy. Wrap some glue on there. And then, let's see, I might put him further forward so you can kind of squish it down and then it will pop back up again when it's ready so you carry on like that and you're going to aim to fill up two shelves okay you can do more than two if you want but aim to do about two shelves and when they're full you can put them inside your toy shop 